Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Have you finished the platform? <laughs> or not yet? No, no yet. It's uh, uh, I finished the 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 section, section five. five. The section five, uh huh. Okay. Just the exam is missing. Yeah. Okay. I would think to, I they, they haven't told you anything about when, when you have to complete it because two two courses ago they said that you have to finish it before the class before the the last class that means in the morning from the thursday not in the evening but if if they haven't told you anything, there's no problem. No, I uh, right now I don't have. Uh, sorry, I I don't have problem with that. But uh, okay. But if you already have finished uh, all the sections in the middle term exam, maybe you are more than eighty percent already. I think so. I, I yeah. think so. I have a. I have a, I, an 80. I, I think I am in 80 right now. Do they say already send you the papers to to the other enrollment? Yes, they send me that. Okay, then it's no problem. Mm -hmm. So what did you do in, in, in Panama? Well, ah, you are a teacher, no? But Well, uh, I'm a teacher, but right now I'm only working with you with ah, okay. with inglés corporativo okay and but you have more uh, classes but i yes uh, but i already uh, sent my resume to some academies uh -huh. and also a thing that is called citel for uh -huh. citel i want to work from home uh -huh. but i have i i I just got my uh, job permit uh, two months ago. Mm -hmm. So it, before that, I cannot, I cannot work. Really? In, in Panama, if you don't have a job permit, you cannot work. Uh, or it, it is illegal to work. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I'm working for El Salvador. In El Salvador, there's no problem because uh, I'm not working for Panamanians. I'm working for uh, Salvadorians, and I getting my my payment at a Salvadorian bank, so there's no problem. But they pay you, Salvadorian bank pay you in Panama. No, or here. No, so in a in a Salvadorian bank, then I have a debit card, uh, and I can use the money here. Ah, uh, okay. Well, yes. Yeah, uh, that's uh I, yes i have no problem with that mm -hmm. hi yolanda and i'm paying taxes in el salvador wow ah, okay because uh, yes I, because you are I earning work, here i work uh -huh. for, i work for the salvadorian uh, company yeah. they, they they discount the taxes and i pay the taxes in el salvador but this this uh, year I haven't had I haven't done my my taxes uh, my income taxes uh, I didn't present my income taxes because if uh -huh. I presented them they had to give me back my money 
because I, I don't have enough in order to pay. Okay. So I decided not to present it because I want my, my taxes to be used for, for anything that they, you need there in El Salvador. If I pay my tax, if I ask for my taxes back, then it is not used in El Salvador. But oh, I but prefer, they, they, I, but they give you a check. Yes, but it is uh -huh. not used in El Salvador. It's used, yeah. it's used for me, it's, it's getting back to me. So I decided not to present my income taxes and then they don't have to return my taxes to me. Okay. I let them use it in El Salvador. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you are a good... Uh... Well, good, I, I, I uh, guess that if you, you are you are a very patriotic. Yes, I love my woman. I love my country. Okay. I love my country, <laughs> and and whenever I had to pay taxes, I never say no. I always pay my taxes as they had to be paid. Uh -huh. Okay, but uh, if I let my taxes work in El Salvador when everybody was stealing them, now that they are using for the people, I have more motives to let them work there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, some people say that they are still uh, stealing the money. And I say, well, if they are still stealing the money, right at now least, it's, it's, at it's least Bitcoin. Your taxes least, are using in Bitcoin. <laughs> at least they are they are stealing less than they used to steal before. And they are giving things to the people. For example, the tablets, the laptops, the food through the pandemic period. Uh, and I know that the food was given because Package, my family, my family food. and my friends received them. Oh yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you don't don't, don't receive them, but my no, family and them. friends they receive. I ask, them. I ask for, for, I ask at some, because my office is in front of the. Um, how do you say zona marginal? Uh huh. Uh, is. Um, Rural, rural, it. rural uh, areas. Uh -huh. But it's not rural area. It's uh, like a, a. Yes, I know what you mean. Una zona marginal. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Marginal. It, marginal. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I and I and I tell and I told that the that the people are given the the package, the full package. Uh huh. And. Uh, that's uh, hey, gave me one. <laughs> no, you you don't need it. They told me you don't need it. How do you know that? No, I. Uh, we know we ha you are not in the list. Uh, so put me in the list. I said <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, but don't at the end, package. at the end, they were given to all the people because even my my uncle who lives in La Escalonia, which is a good uh, a good urbanization. Uh -huh. He received them at, oh, yeah. at the end, <clears throat> at, uh -huh. not at the beginning. Okay. Okay. So, well, I, I, I think that they are giving something back to the people. Different like other, other, other uh, governments that don't give us a thing. They even still the, the, the money that other countries send, for example, for for Las Colinas, uh -huh. they steal all that money. They don't give a cent to any of the people that had problems from Las Colinas. Really? Yes, and the, the money that Paco Flores steal, well, and he didn't steal for himself. He stole it for 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 the party, for Arena. 
uh -huh. all of them gather the money for themselves. And the only one who uh, give the face for that it, it, it was at, at, at jail was Paco Flores. No, but that uh, that was for another reason. For the no, but the, it, 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 they they said Korean from, help for no, the Korean they help. sent from Taiwan. They sent uh -huh, that Taiwan. money. They sent that money for Las Colinas. It was after the flood uh -huh. at Las Colinas that they sent that money. It was for that people from Las Colinas. And they make it cash and keep it for themselves, for arena. The... And don't give a cent to all the people that were had that damage. They give the money to alcaldías. How do you say alcaldías? It's a uh, major, no? <laughs> the, yes, the, the city halls. Uh -huh. the, it, it was for the, for, for the pocket money. I, I hate that the governments only think of themselves and don't think of the people. I hate that because they are not supposed to be there to do that. That's why I, I want I want to be a different type of, of uh, politician. Okay, so uh, politics is not a bad thing. The people that develops polit politics in a wrong way are the bad things because politics is supposedly to be somebody in charge to look for the, to manage the money from the people, but to give them back as, as um, things that the community needs. Okay, it's like you have, a, a, it's like you have a, a community bank or something like that and you gather money from everybody at the at the community but you use that money for things that you need in the community that that is that is the way that the governments should work because they don't make money the people make money and give them taxes but they have to gather the taxes and make uh, the streets, uh, keep uh, education, healthcare, and everything that, that the people need. You know, okay. as uh, I am right now, I am checking the in in the cable that Korean people are more is the is the people the young Korean people is the is the most, uh, I don't know, how do you say that? It's the most, um, uh, go to the university. They are, they are the 68%, the, all the youngest people go to the university. They are very- Smart. Uh, this, this smart and the- and the Intellectual. They want to, they want to educate it and, well, to finish the career in the university. One thing, one thing is this, for me, for me, it's okay that everybody wants to go to university, fine. Everybody wants to learn technology, excellent. But you want it a cellular phone, you want it a computer, okay? It's okay to learn about that, but you also have to take care of the environment and also make crops mm -hmm. because you will eat from the things that somebody uh, grow from the soil. If nobody yeah, yeah. takes care of the crops, then what are you going to eat? 
No, you are right. No, but they are they are the 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 that's the the program was about the the people don't want to live and you 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 uh, uh, touch up a good point, but the because that the the people don't want to live in a rural area. Yes. No? The and young that's, people are all the time all want to live and they don't they don't want to that's the other that is to the have other, families. They don't the want other to marry project that uh Nayib Bukele is trying to implement in El Salvador. He's uh, talking about ruralization. That means means rural areas as good as urban areas in order for the people to stay in the rural part of the country and take care of the crops. Because if everybody goes to the cities, who will take care of the crops? And we need to be, a, we, we need at least to have our own food from our own country. We used to be a agricultural a community before Arena, and we have enough food for our country, and we also uh, make exportations. Uh, Yolanda has to know that we we used to export uh, products uh, for 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 other parts of the world. And nowadays we are importing most of our food because nobody is uh, planting as we used to plant before. Exactly, uh, from Sinaloa in pandemic. Yes. When the when the people have uh, he have the production here. You know, he my, mother, my mother, my uh, mother, my mother visit all the rural areas during the Alfredo Cristiani uh, government. She visited all the rural areas and she made a letter to Cristiani informing him that all the rural areas are not growing vegetables, are not growing crops. And if we continue that way, we are going to uh, lose our our uh, own uh, maintenance, our own food, and they don't care because that is what they want. They want us not to grow our own food in order to uh, import from from outside countries, and then we have to depend on other countries. But they have money for them for their uh, pockets out of that, because they made the deals. We buy you whatever uh, amount of cereals, and you give me no, some nothing money. Nothing to change. I bought it. Okay, that's why they do that. Because remember, I don't know if you remember because in my case, I remember because I'm 55. I guess that you are younger. But before we have something that it was called IRA, Instituto Regulador de Abastecimientos. And IRA buy the crops from, from, from the farmers and they keep the cereals and they sell the cereals and then uh, we have we we don't have those uh, differences in 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 the prices of, of the canasta basic we have the same price for rice for sugar for beans and for all this uh, and for milk also we have a, a, a very nice milk that it was called ira 26 was one of the best and it was you know, made in you, El know, Salvador. you know that the people uh, give it to the cows uh, tortillas for to eat but this is more como le digo más barato que comprar el grano eh, los subsidios son un problema subsidios es un problema yes 
that is why that is why I told you that I I admire Cuban people when, when, when because just... even when they when they are isolated in the world, but they do it wisely because all of them study, but all of them go to to the fields and take care of the crops. All of them know how to grow crops. All of them know how to prepare things. They are very, very uh, skillful. And they are isolated from the world because the United States didn't let them get uh, in anything from export or import anything for years. But they were able to have enough food for themselves. And that's something that we forgot. We need to return to that and we need to avoid depending on chemicals because that destroys the soil. Okay, you will have a very good crop, crop one, two, three, four, five years, but at the end, that soil will be bad for crops and will have a lot of pests, pests, okay? But if we are getting back to how we use to, to cultivate, which is 100% organic without chemicals, we will have a better soil and we will have better crops that are better for our health. And that's what I want to get back to El Salvador. You know, in, in international markets, 100% organic food is, uh, they buy it better than the one that is grow with chemicals. They have better prices for that. But, but, the, but the person can't buy it. There's other problem. Well, it's more expensive. Uh, exactly, it's more expensive. But, but we can, we can, if we have enough, we can sell it in a proper price. Okay, and we are not going to be spending money on chemicals. Okay, I, you will see. We will improve that in El Salvador and we will get to that. I know. <laughs> okay, now uh, we are going to read the last, uh, well, this, be the change you want to see in the world, Mahatma Gandhi. Be the change you want to see in the world. That's why I am what, what I want to propose for El Salvador, I am in doing the things here in my, in my yard, okay? I am using composting that I, I, I made myself and I have better crops doing, uh, doing that. I will share with you, I have a, a papo uh, plant, a uh, tree, a papaw tree, papaya, that it grows the last days of November. So it, it only has six months right now. And it has more than 40 papaws. And it's just six months old. I will, I will send you the pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay, for you to see. Okay, now, we have a reading. We will be reading it as we read it before, remember? Each of us will read a, a paragraph and we'll make a question about the paragraph. And then we'll ask someone else to answer the question and he will continue reading 
and make another question and so on, okay? Now, I will start. The Global Village. Scan the article. What does the term Global Village mean? More and more often, the term Global Village is used to describe the world and its people, okay? Now, how is it used the term, uh, no, what is the term global, global village used for? Um, Yolanda. Uh, this term uh, to describe the war and its people. Okay, thank you. Continue. Uh, and it must be last teacher. Yes. Uh, everyone knows everyone else and the people face the same kind of problem. Okay. Uh, what kind of problem uh, have the people in this village? No. You, uh, no, it, it is. The, you are not saying what are the problems yet. There, you have to uh, ask. All about... of them has the have the the same problems. Do they have the same problems? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, okay. Who will answer the question? Francisco Ernesto. Uh, teacher. Uh... Could you tell me? Do what? they have the same problems? It says in most villages, everyone knows everyone, everyone else. else, and the people face the same kinds of problems. And, and she is asking, do they have the same kinds of problems? I don't understand. Ellos tienen el, los mismos tipos de problemas? Yes or no? It's a yes, no question. Do they have the same kind of problems? Uh, I, I think. According to the reading, in most villages, everyone knows everybody, everyone else, and the people face the same kinds of problems. For me, it's yes, yes, it is. Yes, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, now continue reading. So how can the world be a village when it is home to more than 6 billion people? Okay. Now, in your case, the, the sentence is already a question. So just... Uh, see who will who will answer it. Uh, Mauricio Morales. Yeah, okay, how so how can the world be you may you may say that is because th this is something that you have to infer. How mm. do the world can be called a village when there are more than six billion people? It's not a village. A village is uh, a small community. You may say that because of globalization, because uh, you may you may have friends from other parts of the world nowadays. For example, I, I keep in contact with somebody that lives in New Scotland, uh, Canada. And we talk almost all every day. And I know his daily activities. He knows my daily activities. And we are connected and we live so far away but still is like a, We have a, the same problems. Yeah, yes, we have the same problems, bad politicians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
teacher, but the answer is in this next sentence, no? Yes, but because since, uh -huh, since we talk it about is, the it is it is only it is only that's why I say as mm. it is up to there because we have read only up to there, he has to infer it. Then we will be reading it. But if you want, you can read it, uh, you can continue reading, and that's the answer. But also up to there, you can see that you can say that due to the connectivity that we have, we can get a con a connected and share problems and whatever with other mm -hmm. people all around the world. Yeah, because, yeah, the, well, the answer here is uh, like a, uh, the word, the word it's is the same a village because okay the war is uh, all the people in the six billion people in the world have the same problem that we have in a in a village mm -hmm. or, in, or in a small town so maybe there uh -huh. are this yes the same okay. problems yeah. now continue reading okay but political and technological changes in the past century have made the global village possible. Okay. Now, and, uh, uh, you can make a question out of it. How uh, political and technological no. changes in the... No, yeah, I know. No, no. I, I'm, I'm trying to, to understand uh -huh. more that political and technological changes in the past century have made the global village possible uh, well uh, how how the how was possible how was how possible was, the global village how was possible the global village how was possible the global village yes also the global village from okay uh, now Rafael. okay rafa okay the thing is with the political and technological changes Changes. Okay. okay, now you you continue reading. Political changes, the years following World War II, seemed to promise peace. In fact, in 1945, the United Nations was found found to help countries resolve this put peacefully. Okay. Make the quest. Let me see. What was promised after World War Two? Could what be one was, question. Mm -hmm. What was promised after World War Two? Okay, now, who do you want it to answer? Dagoberto. Uh, they, they promise uh, that we have a uh, peace, peace all time. Okay, thank you. But now continue I think, reading. I think that they can to, como digo, no, it, one thing is promise and another thing is 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 do it. <laughs> because if you notice, most of the time, eh, OTAN, OEA, eh, and all those organizations, instead of eh, resolve the things peacefully, they send they send eh, armies. To the to the places if they already if they want to have peaceful things instead of sending armies they should send diplomatic people to talk okay because, because dip diplomacy is about that talk and get into agreements but business are business teacher and this is the reason no, uh, uh huh. But of course, that's the reason. You know, it, one of the things that Russia 
didn't like about what the world became after World War II is that they win World War II because of them. They win World War II. But the one who, who has all the benefits from World War II was United States because they put the dollar as international exchange, okay? And, and everything that they say has to be done all around the world. If United States say something, you have to do that. And if you don't do what they want you to do, then they give money to the opposites to take you out from the government or they kill you or they uh, make something in order to for you to get out from 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 the presidency so because that's true and if united states wants to send me uh, their army because of that they may do it but the truth is the truth okay they even they kill their own presidents if the presidents don't want to do the war. Like Kennedy. They kill, they kill Kennedy because he wanted to withdraw the, the, the troops from, from different places, even from Cuba. He wanted to end up the things uh, with diplomacy. And that's why they kill him. Why do, you, why do you think that up to now, they don't know who killed the president? Who really killed the president? Because there were more than just one shooter. Okay? Now, continue, uh, answer the question and continue reading. Who will answer the question? Uh, he already answered. He has to continue reading. Mister? Hello, hello. In, However? In, okay, in fact, in 1945, the United Nations was founded to help countries resolve disputes. Uh, peacefully. He already had read it. However, uh, however, uh, however, this promi promise, promise, and uh, this, this promise was soon broken by the Cold War, this distrust and tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. Okay, thank you. Now, make your question. You can uh, ask about what is the Cold War. Uh, it's difficult the answer. Uh, no. But, but okay, do you know what is the meaning of the Cold War? Uh-huh. Now? Uh, now? Uh, you have I two can... people more to ask. Francisco Ernesto. Francisco Ernesto. What's the question? So, Sofia Nois. What yeah. was what was the meaning of Cold War? What is Cold War? Uh, uh, by the Cold War. Uh, uh, is the distrust and tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. Is the distrust and the tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. Okay, now continue reading. These two superpowers engage in, 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 in an arms race spending whole amounts of money on weapons. Okay, 
Now make your question. Let me see, teacher. One moment. What spending? Uh, yes. How yes. do they spend? How, how huge amounts of money? How? How? Uh, do they? They spending. Spend. Spending. Huge amounts of money. Huge amounts of money. Weapons. Okay. But who will answer? You can repeat any of them because already everybody passed. Who spending who amounts yes, of the, the question you already made the question, but who will answer your question? Choose who will answer your question from uh, your classmates. Uh, Yolanda. Okay, thank you. Uh, they spend uh, their money in uh, arms, race. On weapons, on weapons. On weapons. Okay, thank you. Now continue reading. Mm, the other nations mm -hmm. of the world were divided into two sides and the world was frozen in a state of hostility. Okay. Uh, how sides a uh, where how, many? How, many? Uh, how many sides uh, were divided during the Cold War? Okay. Okay. Um, I don't, Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio Morales. Did you answer the question? The war was divided in two. In two yeah. sides. In two okay. sides. Two sides. Yeah. Do you know in what the, are the two sides? Two sides are the and and the goods and the bad <laughs> well is a communist yeah, so the, and capitalist the, or so the republic and the uh, right yeah, and it's left the, it's the same it's uh, <laughs> depend on in what size you are no but it's the same <laughs> well no, no all for me bad. for me our country should have shouldn't have any any side right now no, we you know should where? We should be friends of everybody, like 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 Sweden. Okay, if there is a, a neutral country. <laughs> we need to be neutral. Don't take sides. What uh, what does mean oh, Sweden? No, it's, uh, but in, 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 Suecia. imagine Suiza or Suiza. Ah, sí, que, okay. que, que ellos que ellos yeah. o sea, ellos no se están metiendo en nada. Y son, sí. y son los que más pisto tienen porque ellos recogen pisto de todos lados. Mm -hmm. <risa> y ellos no se meten en problemas y toda la gente ahí, o sea, de, de normal people is like the rich people for us. Ok. The, 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 they don't have poor people there. The poor people that they have is like middle class for us. Okay, so it, it, it's good not to have, if you don't spend money on wars, that money you use it for the people's benefit. Okay, what happened with United States right now? They have been all these years and so many wars spending too much money on, on weapons that they don't have uh, enough for their own people. And now they are increasing taxes. And now they are selling the gasoline more expensive and all that. And they don't have food. They are starting to, to have problems with food. I tell you because my, my auntie lives in, in Los Angeles and I already told her, Come to Panama, don't stay in the United States. You can, you can come here and eat. Well, the thing is that she is more close to us as a family 
than to the other family we have in El Salvador. So she has to come to Panama because she is like my second mother for us, for my, my brother and I. Almost all, the, almost all the time we live together since my brother uh, was born uh, until she went to United States. Okay, so she is like our second mother. If, if we go, wherever we go, we always have a place for her. She has her, her own room. Okay. Now, who will answer your question? Ah, you already answered. I, yes, you already answered. Continue reading. Okay. I could, uh, the cool word, the cool, you know, the cool word finally ended and the political climate changes be, between 1989 and 1991 when the government of the Soviet Union as and several Eastern European countries collapsed. Okay, uh, now uh, make your question and choose who will answer. Well, well, let me see. Um, the world of the political You have a with a, a very good when question. Um, why the why the European country collapse? Mm, no, when 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 uh, when did the Cold War finally end? When did ah, the Cold when War? Cold War uh -huh, when the Cold the Cold War finally end? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, who will who will answer it? Uh, let me see. Dagoberto. Okay, Dago. Uh, the Cold War fi finally. Uh, and then? in between 18, 1988, 19, 1989, 1989, sorry, and 1991. Okay, thank you. Do you think that it really ended? Nah, it seems, <laughs> it seems that it ended, but it, it is still there. Okay, now continue reading. The end of Cold War tension made the global village uh, more politically possible, possible by opening new channels of communication between nations. Okay, make your question. Do you think the end of the Cold War uh, try? No. Uh, what was possible? What was possible with the end of the Cold War? Okay. What what was possible the end of the Cold War tension? Okay. Who? Um, Francisco. Francisco. Eh, porque Sofía no está, ¿verdad? No, no está <laughs> Sofía ni Angie. El, el, el favorito. Eh, Francisco. <laughs> Okay, Francisco Francisco will become the favorite. <laughs> Can you repeat the question, please? The question. Could you repeat the question, please? Hello. In this moment, in this moment. Uh, what was possible? What was ah, okay. possible? Okay, what was possible? The end of Cold War, Cold War tension. Uh -huh. With the end of the Cold War the, tension, the, what was okay. possible? Okay, what was possible? The end of Cold War tension. 
it was possible uh, opening new channels of communication between nations. Okay. okay. Now, continue reading. The techno technological changes. Technological, the great contributor to the global village is the microchip an electronic circuit on a tiny chip. Tiny, tiny chip. A tiny chip. Okay, now uh, make your question. One moment, teacher, please. What is the, the, the great the greatest contributor to the global village? Okay, excellent question. Now who will answer? Uh, Rafael. No, Dagoberto, Dagoberto has an answer. Don't forget Dagoberto. He's there very, very <laughs> silent. <laughs> Dagoberto. Okay. Uh, the microchip. Okay, now uh, continue reading. Okay, the evolution, evolution. The, the, the evolution of the microchips has made modern satellites and supercomputer possible. Okay, make uh, your question. Wh what do we make with the mi microchips? Okay. Uh, Rafael. Rafa, what do they make with the microchip? They made modern satellites and supercomputers. Yeah. Okay. Possible. Okay. Even the cell phones. Okay. Right. <laughs> you know, they say that one cell phone now is more powerful than the first computer they made. Yes. Magic, the first computer was like a whole a room, but a big, big room. It was the, the computer. And now we have in a cell phone more capacity than they made before. Okay, now continue reading. These forms of high-tech communication allow news and ideas to travel quickly across the globe, making people more aware of their neighbors around the world in the dramatic new ways. Okay. What did make people more aware of their neighbors okay. around the world? Okay, now who will answer it? Um, Yolanda? Mm, no, the high text communication. Excellent. Now continue reading. Through the internet, we can get information from computers and carry on electronic conversation with people everywhere. Okay. Uh, what uh, we can do mm -hmm. with the internet. Okay. Who will answer? Uh, Francisco Ernesto. <laughs> is, in from, is in from of me, Francisco Ernesto. <laughs> Paquito. <laughs> Can get information from computers. Excellent. Excellent. Now continue reading. Through, through television programs tra transmitted by sat satellite. 
satellite, satellite. We are exposed to many cultures. Okay. Yeah. What is the, the how, how we are exposed to many cultures? To, to many cultures. How? How, how we are exposed? To many cultures. Uh -huh. Now, who, who do you want to answer? Mauricio. Uh, yes. How is about the television programs? Through, through television programs. Through television programs. Okay, thank you. Now continue reading. Okay. The development of the global village will almost certainly continue into the future. Uh, what continue in the future? Uh, what? The development of the global village. Okay. That's Not amazing. only is this probable, but the challenges that the world faces, for example, conflicts among peoples, pollution and population growth will make it necessary. Okay. What will make the development of the global village necessary? Any of you can answer. The development of the global village. The problem, the, the problem, I think the problem here, it's about the population growth most is the is the problem the biggest problem here in the in the well, planet in the uh, global stretch i i don't think and so because if you it. notice if we if if you notice we already have passed through a pandemic we had a lot of people dying every day and the problem is that it's not that we have too much population because the world, if you notice uh, in Israel, they are yes. getting crops from the desert. And they are the ones that are exporting more flowers nowadays. And they are taking those flowers out of the desert. But what do they do? They have a water, a water, wasted water plant treatments. And also they have a plant treatments for salty water. I know that because my brother worked for them and, and everything he knows about water treatment it was from Israel. So he has made one plan for salty water treatment to become fresh water in one of the islands here in Panama with that company. Okay, with a Israel a technology. So we have enough from earth to have to to have good crops but we need to know how to share we need to to know how to really be a community if you notice in a village everybody looks for everybody everybody is helping everybody okay, in a real village so the idea is not to go and make war 
The idea is to go and see how we can complement each other and work together for all of us. In, in Italy, they have the problem that, do you know that they are offering uh, to sell you a house for a dollar? In Italy, no. because they have a lot of villages that are like ghost villages because they don't have people living there anymore. But what they are asking for is people that has a lot of children or at least two or three children to go and live there to begin population to grow because they are not having enough people in those parts of the world. And here in Latin America, we have too much people. And in China, they have too much people. But there are other parts of the world where they need people. Mm -hmm. So if we redistribute the population of the world more uh, in a better way, we will have enough people in each part of the world. For example, Canada is bigger than United States, but they have less people. Okay, so don't they don't have that. enough people to grow the, the 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 to grow crops in the country. That's why they ask people from other parts of the world to go there and, and, and work for, for the crops. Okay. But they have a very short period to have crops because at least six months, you cannot, you cannot uh, plant anything because they had frozen soil. But in South America, which has almost the same problem, they are developing ways to have crops even during the winter time. They make holes, big holes in the soil during summertime and they cover it and they have like, like a, uh, greenhouses, invernaderos, under the soil. So the, the frozen part is over them, but they are, they are uh, having crops uh, under the soil, okay? So it, uh, everything that you need is to have brains. to see how, how you can do the things. But I guess that if everybody works together, we can manage to do the things well, but we want the, the people who has a lot wants more and they don't like to share with other people. That's the problem. Okay. Now, uh, do you want me to, to share with you what is the, the final test about? Or are you going to do it by yourself without uh, discussing it? Uh, well, I have a problem with uh, two exercise teacher. I am not sure if it's possible to, to help us okay. because I don't know what is the, the correct answer. Okay. We, we will be developing it uh, tomorrow, but if you have already your questions, we can check it right now. Okay, uh, I have a problem. I am not sure uh, is the other... Uh, B? Uh, yes, partner, but uh, no, a little C. C, yeah. uh -huh. uh, I have a problem when I uh, answer uh, 
part three. Mm -hmm. uh, number three. Number three. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, okay, complete the predictions with will the future continuous and the future perfect. No, Just type this is not the no. Ah yes, 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 teacher. Number three, I start. You I won't need. Uh-huh. Uh, no, but it's not the, the answer. Maybe the other. will not. No, tampoco. I try in different ways and I don't uh, have the correct answer. Will not need and, and the other is uh, will not live or won't live, no? And I use a want. Mm -hmm. Me, me, me. <laughs> Tres y cuatro fatales. Uh, but this is not the correct answer, teacher. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's cheat. <laughs> Won't need. Ah, vaya, ya ve. Ajá. Pero no lo acepta. ¿Ve? ¿Eh? ¿Yo sí? Ah, ya vi por qué. ¿Por qué? Eh, ellos usaron eh, el, de, eh, la, la mala aquí, si se da cuenta, no, no usaron el este que es recto, sino que usaron el, el este. Es no. Un... Apóstrofe. No. Ajá, no usaron la, la, la normal. Sino mm. que la que ellos han usado es la costada. No, pero, pero yo copié, eh, por ejemplo, el want de los otros ejercicios y tampoco me... O sea, lo copié de los ajá, otros ejercicios. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Y tampoco, o sea, tuve buena la respuesta esas dos. Pero, pero según esto, según esto, mostrar respuesta dice want need. Ajá. Algo, algo está... Eh, corrupto en el examen y no lo acepta entonces la, la voy a la voy a, a reportar la voy a reportar para que hagan ellos este para que revisen porque es que no pasa la respuesta cuando ellos mismos están diciendo aquí que esta es la respuesta ok verdad en, y el otro eh, tampoco me acepta won't be living won't be living no no, entonces voy a reportar el examen porque ahí sí va a haber problema, porque si no está aceptando la respuesta correcta, este, se la va a dar como que está malo y le va a bajar puntos. Ok. Y, y no es problema de ustedes. Other, ajá, y en el nombre, el número cuatro es igual. O sea, entonces en ese sería mismo, el ajá. tres, el cuatro y cuál otro. Eh, bueno, ahí no sé los otros compañeros, pero yo tengo también problemas en el anterior. Eh, ¿Y cuál? En el, este, en la número de correct de mistake, uh -huh. el nombre, el B, ¿verdad? Eh, tengo problemas en la 3 y en la 4. Yo bueno, no encuentro ver, la en respuesta. ¿En, ¿En cuál? ¿En uh, parte 1 you know, o parte 2? No, esta, la de la Elisa. Eh, juela, mire, ese le he tratado de un montón de formas y nada. Pero voy a ver. Do you know where Elisa can have her driver's license? Uh -huh. Do no, you know bueno, no where sé. Elisa can, can have, have her driver's, her driver's license? license? Yes, lo puse de esa forma, incluso lo tengo aquí escrito, 
aquí en mi cuaderno y no me lo acepto. Vale, entonces, hágame un favor, mándenme Dígame. el reporte eh, de número por número para yo okay. decirles con cuáles es que hay problemas, pero chequeemos cuáles son las que tienen malas para que hagamos el reporte completo. Vale, le voy a tomar una foto entonces y se lo voy a, man se lo voy a mandar al WhatsApp a todos, ¿no? Ajá. Vaya, este, ¿Cuál chido. otro? Son esas dos las que tengo malas. Ok. Eh, ajá. Ok. Entonces vamos a verificar eso. O sea, mándeme cuáles son los problemas y lo vamos a reportar con, 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 con los técnicos para que hagan la revisión. Perfecto. Gracias. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you, See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye.